I feel privileged to have the opportunity to be a LEAP ambassador from the United States. One of the things I'm finding is that even though our backgrounds and our talks are very diverse, there's a lot of commonality among all of us just by being in Mensa. And there's a little commonality here with what PJ is going to be talking about. Well, I'm going to use two words that you've probably never heard with games before. Practical use. And I hope that grabs your attention, and I hope that after PJ talks, you'll agree that games can be useful in more ways in Mensa than just playing them and defeating your opponents. Thank you, Zidi. Okay, my name is Predar Zukic. That's why, but I'm, I'm going with PJ from obvious reasons. Uh, at the very beginning, I'd like to say that it's a real privilege and a pleasure being here. Okay, I come, I live in Serbia. This is a small European country, known for nice looking people, fabulous food, some silence. <laughs> My presentation will be how to provide newcomers with an easy entrance and how, how to provide members with stimulating intellectual environment. They are simple in terms of use, that means uh, you need just a few minutes to learn the rules. It's not like a strategic games that you have to to read uh, instructions and to, to dedicate some time to that. They are short in terms of rounds. They are measured in minutes, not hours, not days. They are very fast. Cricket. Yeah. And they are communication and collaboration oriented. The goal is to know your teammates better you're going to change your teammates, so you're going to, to, to know better all, all members very, very easy and very fast. Of course, because we are Mensa, we need a complex intellectual challenge. That means that we're going to, to spark various brain activities in a very small time, in a very short time. They should be easily adjustable to, to, to be, let's say, to the needs of participants. They have to make a common experience, to create a common history of, of players, to have a, a stories to tell. We like to, to introduce them in a contest environment, excitement included, and also they have to be fun. Like I mentioned, it's a positive emotion generator. This is double match, a game of associating. I choose that game. This is one of many, actually. Maybe you are acquainted with it, so it's going to be easier to, uh, to explain you. First, let's go with the basics of associating. This is a two notion associating. I'm going to use two notions in order to uh, help you to guess what, is, what the, the notion is. If I say catch up, what is your association? Master. Master. Master, very nice. Go on. Hamburger. Sauce. Hamburger. Pizza. Oh, oh, fried fries. French fries. Tomato. And so on, right? Uh -huh. So, with one word, it's very hard. It's not impossible, but it's hard. I have the right to use two words. I'm going to give you another one. And it's vegetable. Now it's easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. If that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> but this is associated. If I, if I say a, a fruit, it could be something different, right? <laughs> okay, let's go with another one. This is tricky. This is it's not important to be hundred percent precise. The tricky is to associate, and you, you have to evaluate <laughs> is it better or, or what what is the, okay. Let's let's go with fishing. Right. Go. Go. Okay. Right. Fishing, fishing, right. Water, motion, sickness. Okay. <laughs> so with one word you're not able to get it to post. Okay. Another word. Captain. Boat. Okay. Boat. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. It could be boat, right? I think it's boat. But I have a third word. I have a third notion, my disposal. I'm going to tell you another one. Trailer. Yeah. Can you imagine that? What is the the word? 
Now I'll get to ask a question. Net. Still bad, isn't it? Still bad. Uh, a trailer is, uh, you have a, a, a truck or car, right? And you... Oh. 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 White hook. White hook goes with oh. Captain, for example. You don't have to have hook. You're right. So, this is a very simple game. I'm going to explain the rules. It's going to trigger your uh, uh, brain in uh, various areas. You're going to see what is the background of the game. It's extremely simple. Okay, let's go with the rules. First of all, uh, this is a match uh, of, it's a competition of two pairs sitting at the table, as usual. Uh, in the middle of the, they are, okay, the, the partners are sitting opposite each other. In the middle of the table, there is a uh, there is a deck of notion cards, let's call them that way. And the game starts when one player picks a card, takes a look at the notion, and try to associate his partner, to say oh. some words okay. in order to, to allow his partner to guess right. But he can't give many hints. Uh, it depends on rules. We can start with, with whatever. We can start with sentence, for example. Make a sentence, no matter how long, for example. We can go with three words, two words, and even one words. And interestingly, this is all separated games. It's not the same. The rules are just always the same. You just vary one, one thing, and you're going to get a totally different game. Because with sentence, it's easy to close association. With three words, okay, but what with one? And I'm going to show you it's totally possible. Okay. Uh, if the, his partner, the teammate, guesses right, this, this is a point. This is, they, they, they score, actually. They place the cards uh, face up to, to enable the opponent team to see. This is okay. This is one point. No matter is it scored or, or it's missed, next turn goes to the opponent team. They are going to pick up a card, see the notion, and try to associate. Is it okay? Okay, there is a timer as well. Uh, we start without any time limits, and then we put some time pressure. It's very interesting. For example, if you have 20 seconds to make association to guess, there is only one try for the, for the, for the guy who is for the person who is trying to, to guess. Only once. After that, this is a, a bonus term. In that period of, for example, 30 seconds, is the, there's no try to, to, to guess the notion. Who cares? Time's up. Another, another uh, team is... is uh, uh, there's, there's turners. Okay, let's go with some, some additional rules. What is allowed it and what is not. First, what is not allowed, it use of foreign words. It's a play, it's a game of association, not a game of foreign language. Of course, use of synonyms is forbidden, not to say plain aircraft pieces, so it's not association at all. Gestures, on onomatopoeia, and side talk are also forbidden. And use of words with the same root. This is, actually this rule is uh, is included because of Mensa people. <laughs> <laughs> they started to use it extremely frequently, so I stopped it immediately. <laughs> for, the, for the start, I can allow use of personal names. For example, tennis. I said, no, Djokovic, just, that could be tennis, right? And it's going to be very, very fast, very easy. So I'm going to, to take it through out. It's not, it's not going to be allowed. Okay. Let's speak about the cards, the props. This is the standard IC development card that we used for many games. And uh, it's not the... Uh, I have actually I have with me just for this game cards. You have a different level of difficulties. And at the very, very beginning of every round, 
the leader of the competition is going to, to tell you, okay, we go with the, with the first line, you have two words, and this is, this is the rule. And he's going to play with it. We have also abstract nouns here, this is for, for, for games of memory and, creative, and, and, and developing creativity. This is pretty interesting, you can use the same deck for, for many, many games actually. Okay, let's see the benefits of this very simple game. It's obvious, I'm not going to explain anything about it. Brainstorming. The aim is to brainstorm as many ideas that you can at, at that short time. You have 10 seconds, that's a plenty of time. If you are skillful, you, you're going to create 20 associations immediately. If you're not, you're going to have one and then to think whether to go with it or not. Parallel thinking, this is the, the let's say, the more advanced uh, uh, way of thinking. It's, it's going to be developed during this game as well. Empathy, you have to step in shoes of your partner actually. If it's, for example, for females, uh, if I say uh, shoulder and women, woman, what do you say? Strap. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, in Syria, it's back immediately. Bang. Oh. But for for women, not for men. Men are like, oh, what's that? So this is it's really important to know who you're playing with. So this how we start to know each other. Assessment. What is the best words that I can use in order to, to associate Vicky, for example? What should be for her the best words? This is not easy at all. Decision making. Then I, I go with something. It's time that I have, it's passing, I, I, I have to go with something. Collaboration. We have to collaborate actually. It's, it's something that we are going to, to, to go together. And also communication, it goes without saying. Oh, I want to show you something.
fortune. Now, donation. She thinks. Corn. She thinks. And that was it. That's just just to take a look how it works. Let's go with the match with uh, social description. It's certainly it's a. Uh, Relaxing, it enables people to, to be introduced very easily, to take a part of, uh, in a, a mass activities. It's a pleasant emotions, it's a right insight and additional info that could be uh, uh, provided during the game or much better after the game or between the games. Okay, what we did, uh, we decided to use those kind of games when I said I see development games, I'm talking about those games who fulfill criteria, with criteria. It could be anything, it's not so important. Uh, they're going to provide easy interest to introduce an activity through which new members can be easily incorporated in Mensa. To connect member, to increase, the, the, the goal of the presidency of Serbia was to increase attendance to local and national gatherings. To Engage members in a method of beneficial activities that Mensa propagates. Also, to, to raise spread awareness support, to support public recognition of Mensa as an intellectual development environment. This is also a powerful tool for team building and also a PR opportunity, an excellent headline for media coverage. Actually, media covered some, some uh, championship that we had, so it was pretty nice. Before we put them in, in, in a, let's say, Mensa, we, what we did, we made a two acid tests. You know, the first one is 2014, uh, and during a volunteer, volunteer's weekend, we scheduled a one, and a half, one hour and a half session. We planned to have a half league system and grand finale, but we had a problem at the uh, end of half league. 12 teams simply insisted to play a full league and we, we had to, to spend another, another hour playing games. Uh, it was extremely excited and I can give you one fact to support that, that conclusion. Uh, among us there are a lot of photo enthusiasts. Nobody took a picture at all. <laughs> so we don't have a trace. Uh, we can speak with people <laughs> and that's it. The next year, the, the situation repeated, not the same one because we shoot some photos, unfortunately very, very small number, but what, what we had is a uh, award ceremony, we had uh, 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 some kind of rewards, caps, Mensa, uh, what we did, we made uh, flags with uh, first, the first, the red one was, let's say, champions. And the second one was uh, blue white champions, and the third one was uh, yellow or uh, white uh, candidates for champions. Uh, after four rounds, we gave those flags to the f first three leading teams actually on a table, and there was after every round they, there was a passing of those uh, flags. It was extremely interesting. And they love it. Actually, they took a flag, even the flag stands with, with flags as a as a souvenir. So we, we we were out of flags very soon after the competition. Okay, our intention is to introduce uh, IC development games in every local Mensa. This is a nice way how to spend uh, time uh, with the sense. Uh, useful and also to, to incorporate new members very easily. Then we want to organize regional championships in order to, uh, to uh, let's say, connect people on a regional level and once a year we are going to have a national championship and this is a very nice reason to go at a national gathering.
So what I have here is the two decks of, uh, of ICD cards, ICDW cards. So if you want, somebody wants to try it, you can go in a, in a room very close to here and we can sit down and, and play it. Did you have people that were afraid to participate going, I cannot do this, I do not like games, I'm going to be horrible at it? <laughs> yes, we had one pair, mm -hmm. uh, the last year championship, and they almost won it. They were <laughs> vice champions, champions, champions. So they said, no, no, you are very savvy, very skillful, we are not for that, we are just beginners. And after, after that, in a few rounds, they start to to progress very rapidly, actually. That's a very good success story. Mm -hmm. It is. Anybody else? Please. Does it work if the people have to change partners? Yes. Uh, for example, you saw those uh, uh, a lady and, and a guy with the with goggles, glasses, uh, playing in the, the, the grand finale. They met that day, and they went to the finale and they won it. To be honest, uh, they called themselves accidental partners. There was a there was a TV series or something like that. And they are not they are unbeatable so far. My, my question is more yeah, like yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to, three rounds maybe no, change partners. No, no. You're changing uh, if if it's in a, in a local Mensa, for example, that could be done. But championship no, you're going to, to have one partner and go to whole championship with, with, with him. In local masses, we are changing every, whenever we want, actually, because it's not so important to, to, to get some kind of huge results and fast. And this is the tool how we can uh, know each other better, actually. And it's very fun, we are laughing, and that is it's very relaxing, and this is a common experience. This is a the game, am I correct that the game was played in English? Is that right? Or, yeah. or in? Here I have a card oh, in English. Okay. Serbia is played in, in Serbia. Serbia. Okay. If we want to, uh, let's say, uh, support the English, learning of English as a foreign language, we can use ah. cards in English. Why? Because the, the language is all about descriptions, right? Mm -hmm. Describing, and this is associated. Actually, our mind, it's not a calculating machine. It's this association machine. So there is a deeper sense of this game. Uh, it goes it goes beyond the, the conscious. It, it goes to subconscious because for that short time you're not able to trigger the efficiently the conscious <laughs> uh, uh, process. So every, uh, a lot of things are done in a few seconds. you and you are not conscious of it actually. And you're going to, to get to get just a words, bam, 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 and then to say, okay, let's go with it. So it simulates subconscious and also uh, allows you to, to, to evaluate, to make decisions and so on, and it's going to happen in seconds. So it's, please. So are you, I'm sorry, I missed the beginning, are you selling this? Or no. You have, no. Is it something that you can share with uh, local groups so we can print it out and use it, or? Yes, I can, I can share it. Oh. Because I'm thinking that that would be something because we have new member meetings, and that would be great for new member meetings because people walk into a room full of you know 50 people and we've got lots of games, but to inject them into a game they don't know, you know people they don't know. So this Actually, is a great idea. That is the goal of the program. Right. One of, of the goals, right? Yeah. So I'm here to share. <laughs>